And we are back! Hey folks, Decoherent here. Rimworld, Alpha 17, This Land. Sound like William Shatner. Anyway, so I'm back. It's been about a good week. Bought 20 pounds of defective gummy bears. Extremely exciting times. So before we start off here, I have some notes and some housekeeping and some theory crafting to talk about. If you don't care about this stuff, ideally you should have the time code at the bottom of your screen here. Please feel totally free to skip ahead. It doesn't make me feel bad. So. Okay, so those of you who are left, so I actually do read through all of your comments and read through everything in the last 7 to 10 days here, and I had a couple notes on things that, things that maybe I should be doing differently, or some explanations for why it is I do stuff. Let's see here, so defense. So yes, turrets do still benefit from sandbags, which is something that I definitely want to put around here. I've often uh, kind of built little stone cubbies for them. If I build this wider, so that the enemies are coming in at a really oblique angle, then I will do so, because then you can pack them right next to each other, and they don't blow each other up. But for the moment, I should definitely have sandbags around here, and I don't know why I've never gotten around to it. I had a suggestion that I could be putting in one of the gun complexes down here. If you're not familiar with these, these come out of the uh, turret mod. What am I looking for here? Security. Man, it's been a while. So these guys give you some gunpower, and you come and man them, and they shoot away, and I think they provide some protection as well. I don't think I can take a look at it right away. I'm a little undecided whether or not I want to use this, for the sole reason that I'm trying to keep this really close to stock. Ooh, a mud moat. Ooh, I do remember seeing that in the patch notes for the gun mod. Interesting. I'll have to think about that. I just like staying close to stock. So, I may or may not put those in. Okay, let's see here. So, food efficiency. So, crops have always been a little bit of a weird thing. The efficiency of each particular crop is dependent on a couple factors. Largely the, um, the richness of the soil, and then, of course, also the different types of crops. So, if we take a look here, someone at Reddit ran some nice tables to do some calculations on the different crops versus how long they take to grow, harvest yield, fertility, you know, and then how long they take to grow in either plain or rich soil, and then the nutrition per day. These are all really great numbers. This is the stuff from Alpha 16, and there's kind of a spread here. However, in Alpha 17, a lot of these have been tightened up. I took a look at this when I started. I just glanced through it and decided that I'm largely going to stick with my classic potatoes because they're sort of a utility crop. They always kind of work okay, even though they're not always the best. Things have tightened up a lot here. So if you take a look at the nutrition per day in standard soil, Basically, this is a wash, dependent on labor, which I'll come back to in one second here. In rich soil, which I have, you can see there's a pretty big difference here, that corn and rice have much higher productivity than strawberry or potatoes. So the real kicker is here, is the grow time. So the grow time not only determines how bad the blight events are, but also how often your growers are going to spend running around and ideally picking plants. This can be a pretty big deal. I'm still running into a lot of time where things are just getting left out in the open or things are getting planted right away. So I'm a little iffy about moving to rice. Rice has a pretty substantial buff in nutrition per unit time, and it always have. And in hydroponics, you basically don't want to ever grow anything except for rice. The downside, of course, being that it requires a lot of labor. If you're using extensive hydroponics, you're probably in a tiny cramped pace because you're on an ice sheet, and that's not an issue. In a larger area, nah, I don't know. Corn plants are nice because it's fire and forget, they take a long time to grow. If you don't have a growing season that's at least 20 days, obviously this isn't even a possibility for you. The catch, of course, being that you get enough blights that you can have your complete crop wiped out at 69% or something and you get nothing. In between here is the strawberry and potatoes. Once again, potatoes are kind of a solid, you know, middle option. They're pretty good pretty much everywhere. At an okay trade-off between labor and, um, and actual fertility. Now, strawberry plants have actually improved some here. <coughs> wow. Wow, okay, sorry about that. Choked to death there for just a moment. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. So, strawberry plants are 
Very similar. Oh, me, oh man. Hold on a second. <clears throat> okay, sorry. Uh, I'm back. I started choking to death and then choked on some water and spilled it all over. And anyway, so strawberry plants have some more interesting nutrition going on here. They've never been particularly great, but with the rebalanced numbers, they're actually sort of an attractive option. They're slightly higher in terms of labor, but the nutrition per day is very similar. The advantage being you can just eat the damn things. You don't have to turn them into meals. So I'm thinking pretty hard that early colonies now, I'm going to go with largely exclusive strawberries. At this point, I see no real reason to switch away from potatoes. I still think they're a good balance. I've got people to grow. I've got cooks, so on and so forth. So I think we're going to stick with that for the moment. We'll revisit this. There's a bunch more interesting data if you want to look in the wiki and then recalculate a bunch of this. I may or may not make a table out of it. Okay, next up, weapons. So weapons are always sort of a complicated question. There's a trade-off between weapon quality, between um, the pawn skill, and distance. And someone whacked up a nice table that I have, or a nice graphic that I've edited just a little bit here to kind of show you damage per second per distance. This assumes a constant skill, so this is not necessarily a great way to look at this. I took out a few things. You can see my nasty edits here. I took out the Scyther weapons and I took out a bunch of the um, tribal weapons because I don't care about them. Although Peel is hit like a truck though, by the way. You got to be careful of those. So if we take a look at this, did I not take out the Infernal Cannon? Maybe it's not in there. Okay. An Incendiary Launcher. We'll ignore those. Oh, I left the bow in. So Sniper Rifles, as always, awesome. They have solid damage once you get up to long range and they are by far the longest you know, range. I think that the charge lance that Scythers use is top out somewhere in the mid-30s. So you can indeed snipe Scythers, provided that they don't move towards you. So you have to be careful about that. So, in other changes here, the bolt-action rifle, which is now the survival rifle, is actually not too shabby. It's got a pretty solid damage curve. So, they're no longer throwaway. You don't immediately break down your survival weapons. So, the big ones here that I think are interesting... First of all, the assault rifle is still, I'm going to stick with it. This is my nice generic gun. It's got a good range, the longest of anything that's not either bolt action or the sniper rifle. It's not the highest damage at any point, but it's this nice reliable thing that's going on there. And I like that. I don't really want to micromanage weapons a lot. Later in the game, I switch to charge weapons for a lot of people, but I tend to put those on my colonists that suck because then they can spray and pray, and on the occasion they do connect, they actually do a fairly decent hit. Often at that point, I keep some excellent or above quality assault rifles for my better shots, because they can, you know, outrange a little bit of the damage that's coming in. What is interesting, the heavy SMG has been buffed quite a bit. This thing hits like a truck at close range, so that's pretty nice. We're going to think about that. The chain shotgun, which is new, and I still don't have one, and I should build one just for the hell of it. You can see also, like... Not too shabby at close range. It's better than the pump shotgun at anything up to its maximum range. It has a lower hit chance, but it hits harder, and I think it reloads faster, so the DPS is pretty similar. Beyond that, the LMG is still fine. Whatever. Machine pistols are fine, but they kind of suck, so you don't want to use them if you can avoid it. Um, pistols are, of course, garbage. What's this? Little stars. Oh, bows. I didn't mean to leave that in. And then... Yeah, incendiary launcher. Don't be fooled by that. They're probably the second most dangerous weapon in the game because it sets your guys on fire. So I'm going to stick with my thing where I'm moving primarily into assault rifles. I'm going to consider charge shot and or scavenging some charge rifles, but I think we'll just kind of do what we're doing. Let me write myself a note here. Make a chain shotgun. Okay, some other things that have gone on. Oh, melee. Melee is a lot better now. I have never played with melee for two reasons. First of all, when your guys go berserk, they will kill other pawns, and that's a huge problem. So, not something that I really want to deal with. Only my happiest of colonists get them, if at all. The other thing is, is even a halfway decent pawn can, you know, take some shots from range and risk no damage under ideal circumstances, whereas with melee, you're going to take some hits. However, man, melee weapons pack a punch. So, I may make some. They really deal out the damage, so... We'll have to see about that. I'll go into that a little bit if they do. Also, now you've got that smoke belt, so that may or may not become a useful thing to try. 
Um, some crafting changed. Stone cutting is stupid now. So stone cutting now, um, it is a crafting bill, but it levels construction. And in my humble opinion, this is stupid and wrong. I apologize if you're one of the developers, but it's dumb. Yes, it's okay that it gives you a way to level construction, but what you really need most of the time is a way to level crafting. It looks like at this point the thing to do is going to be making wood short bows over and over and over again to level up your crafting, but still, man, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. One thing that I'll probably do is I can set the crafting skill range, but this means I've got to set up some wacky stuff. Like, I have to set my crafters to be... Um, or my construction to be high crafting, but then make sure I micromanage all my bills, and I don't know. I don't like it. We'll try to take care of it. There's some other weirdnesses too, like, um, where was this mentioned in here? Making medicine levels weird stuff now, like research or something like that? I don't know. It's kind of wacky, so. Anywho. So there's some changes. So, anyway, back to the game. So at the end of last episode, it didn't look like I had a lot of grand plans going on, except that I promised that I was going to finish getting my steel together, and then finally build these rooms. I really want to get things built out better. I want more hospital beds, I want to have a proper floor there. There's just a bunch of stuff that I want done that is not getting done, so we need to make sure and deal with that. Um, the drug dynamics have changed too. I don't think I'm going to bother again with drugs. I may later on, just to make things more interesting, but at this point, eh... I don't know, not so much. I don't remember what it was I just bought. That's kind of interesting. Okay, well, whatever. And yes, I'm still not using my mortars. I noticed during the last episode I had a bunch of pirates that showed up and stood around, and I just ran around like an idiot and didn't shoot them, so. Anywho, so it's 101 outdoors. Still nice and cool inside. Most people look okay. Stella's finally working away through her go juice addiction. Sarah, who was our new superstar, despite having once been an almost hat, is just really useful these days, and she's great, and I'm really happy with her. So, we're all friends again. That's nice. Do I have the ability to make survival meals? I can't remember now. Yes, okay. I will make some a little later. And I think that my graveyard is almost larger than my actual base now, so hopefully someone will look at this finally and go, huh, maybe we shouldn't run and charge these guys directly in the middle of their kill box. Unlikely, but possible. Okay, so we need to get some more steel going on here. What do I have going on? I have some training going on for our new lab. Our muffalo are tooling around being, I don't know, muffalo. Let's see here. Major break risk? Why, what's wrong with you? Oh yeah, the organ harvested. Oh, and you're hot, that's right. Okay, so what do I have for gear here? Let's see here, so you max out at 90. Don't the jackets provide... Oh, jackets, that's right, do not provide heat. So actually, I need to pull off all these jackets. Because they're going to make everyone overheat. Right? Right. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just change this really quick. I'm basically just going to change this year by year because, I don't know, it's not worth it. So, no jackets, no parkas. Fine. Okay. So we'll let them take care of this and then I'll check back on their clothing in just a few minutes here. And then... Alright. Things look pretty good here. Got some food ticking along. Stuff's looking okay. Doing really well on medicine. That's right, I've got our sniper rifles up here now that I finally figured that out. So that's all well and good. You know what? Actually, since we're trading ARs, I should put two more of these up here. Or actually, maybe some made of stone. Let's say sandstone. That will hold their ARs. Let's do that. So furniture... Let's see here, shelf, sandstone. So that when they come and pick up their guns, they put their assault rifles right there. Oh, right, and so let's look at our crafting thing here. I just talked about this. So who's set to high crafting? Yeah, so that's from Sarah. Yeah, and you can see, holy Christ, her construction is great. Um, I think I'm gonna kick that down, or actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this at nine. She doesn't really need any higher construction. It would be nice to get Anessa up a little bit. What else is she doing? Growing and then mining. Well, that's okay for now. Well, you're never going to get to crafting at this point. Okay, well, actually, never mind. I'm just going to leave this at anyone. But 
once we've got Stella up and running, then we'll get some more construction cranked up. And this is nice, because we're going to start getting some better quality stuff. How are we doing here? Actually, most things are looking pretty good. Hospital beds are poor, but I don't want to waste those materials. Table sucks. Wooden stool sucks. Why do I even have wooden stools? I guess I don't have a lot of wood, do I? Well, let's make some stuff here quick then. So what did I say? I need a table. I'm just using a short table, right? Yeah. Short table. Let's actually build that down here so it's out of the way. I want this to be at least good, let's say. And then what? Two or three chairs? Sure. And those can be at least good as well. Okay. And that should be pretty straightforward for Sarah to do. Heater broken down. Don't care. Shouldn't be doing anything at all. Okay, what's the gear look like here? Still only to 90. Maybe... Maybe I should make some more dusters. They're expensive. Yeah, I better make some more dusters. Ooh, traitor. Who was my chatty person? Oh, that's right, you guys all suck. So, whatever. So, whoever's handy. Gilmore! Hey, buddy. So, who just showed up? Lartmech. Okay. Ooh, I could buy some rats. Let's see here. Monkeys? Nah, not so much. I am starting to generate some muffalo wool. Maybe I should sell some of that, or uh, use some of that to make things. Okay, well, let's get rid of... I don't know, shoddy and poor, I guess. Um, Anything else I want to get rid of? No, that's fine. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, and you know what? Let's set up... How much do we have muffalo wool? We have 222, so I think we can make two then. So let's take a look here. Make our duster. These are 80. Yep, so I can make two. So let's go ahead and let's use muffalo wool and let's make two. Duster. And I only have one person on tailoring, right? Sarah could. Sarah's actually better at it. Let's have Sarah do it. Go do that. You're good at things. Well, more correctly, you're good at things now. I'm glad I didn't turn you into a hat. I think there's an important life lesson in here about even, like, hopeless addicts can, if given time, become helpful members of society instead of merely a glorified hat. I'm not sure that's the best life lesson, but that's the best I'm going to get. I don't want this to burn down. Because this is a convenient like, little stand of woods here. Major break risk. Gilmore. My, what's your deal? Ugly environment. Eight without table. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I should actually have them cut some more wood. Do we have any handy here that's fully grown? Yeah, a little bit. Let's get a few. Okay, excellent table. Good, good. Let's deconstruct this. Sarah, you're actually right here. Why don't you go ahead and do that? And then, let's reinstall this. And who's handy? Hmm. Akemi. You can move around now. You're the best. You go ahead and you go do that. Well done. Oh, it deleted part of my stockpile zone. That's obnoxious. Alright. So, there's some other things that have come up here and there. The size of raids that you get is based almost entirely on your colony's wealth. So that's actually helping me quite a bit at this point. Um, I believe that number of colonists is a factor, but not much of one. And turrets count as... Oh, more mufflos. And turrets count as wealth, not as a colonist. I feel like that used to be different, but... It is what it is now. Okay, good, good. So did you finish up one of these already? Yes. So hopefully someone will put on a duster and then be happier. And whoever's unhappy is just going to have to deal with it. Oh, wait. Blocked by roof. Oops. Yeah, right. Sorry about that. Uh, clear build roof area. And actually, let's go ahead and let's delete that zone too. Oops. Alright. You know, I'm going to put some sleeping spots for my muffalo out here. 
Just so they stay more or less where I expect them to be. Get them inside a little faster. You guys are allowed there, right? Yeah. Okay. Muffalo calf? Is that always said that? That's interesting. Thought it just said, like, muffalo in kind of the general case. Interesting. Might want to consider doing some hunting in the near future. That might be a good idea. What do we have down here? Oh yeah! A whole bunch of these guys. Ibex. They have a glorious tendency to decide that they hate you and then I'll try to kill your colonists, so we'll think about that. Who's hunting? Anessin, which is not probably the best, because she should be busy mining. How is my mining going? Alright, not great. How's my steel? 285. Eh. Okay, since we have a little bit now... Oh, good. Hey, grass. Okay, since we have a little bit of steel now, let's go ahead and let's get these sandbags built around these things. And I'm going to have to change the floors around there just a little bit, too. So they're not trying to walk over the sandbags constantly. So these are too close. So I'll take care of that later. Fine. Whatever. No, damn it. I can't do that. It'll drive me absolutely crazy. Here. Reinstall this here. And then sandbag... You go here and here, and you do not go here. Is that looking good? Yes. And let's put the new floor in. Just put some concrete in here. Fine, whatever. Okay, Sarah, how you doing? You're done. Excellent. Good. I have many other things for you to do. Good, good. Look at her go. She's so great. Okay, so what good guns do you guys have? Normal. Thought I had better ones than that. Good, superior, poor, normal. Okay, well, in that case, let's just go ahead and let's set this. Let's try not to screw this up this time. No apparel. But I have to allow smeltable. So allow smeltable, ranged weapons, AR... Normal and up, and let's say at least 50%. And we'll set this to critical. Okay, so now there'll always be guns to trade off there. So, that's good. Got a bunch of shells. Got components. How are these chairs going? Going well. Excellent. What was I taking apart? I still have some crummy chairs. No? I think I was just getting rid of some of these. One, two, three. Okay, the scanner. Oh, that's right. That was what I was working on. Okay. Now, I would like shredder turrets. I don't think I need bionics. So, tissue printer has changed. I should actually research that and see how it works. Okay, what do I need in the near future? I don't have anyone that can produce medicine, so that doesn't matter. I'm still not really ready for some caravans. I don't care about this. Maybe some charge weapons... Maybe. Or maybe shredder turrets. No, you know what? Let's... The problem is, charged rifles are kind of a luxury. And you can no longer make and sell weapons. There's a 20% modifier now on Weapon Pro, so it's worthless. So, let's say... Oh, I could make the smoke pop belts. Let me just waffle on here for a few more seconds. And we're going to go with... No one needs any organs, do they? You could use a new leg. Oh, yeah. I can build eyes, can't I? Where's my... Prosthetics. How good are eyes, though? Oh, no, that's right. The golden eye doesn't do anything. It just looks neat. Right? Yeah. But, no sight. So, we're not going to do that. So, I guess I have to wait until Bionics to replace some eyes. Okay, let's finish flipping through here. 
left shoulder, blah, blah, blah. I can't replace your neck, sadly. Oh, that's right. You're missing a foot. Let's get you a new leg. I almost forgot about that. Let's go ahead and build a leg there. Let's get that taken care of. I have two more Glitter World Medicines. So that'll be okay. Okay, and once everything gets deconstructed, we'll move these over. Latch, what are you doing? Cleaning dirt. No. Deconstruct. Good. Okay. Let's put these chairs in. Excellent quality chair. Good. Superior. Sure. Fine. Oh, apparently you can build, um... Shield belts now, too, which is kind of neat. Wait, that's not what I meant to do. Let's try that a third time. Reinstall. So I may do that. Because with a shield belt of consistent quality and some good armor, maybe I will try melee. Do I have anyone that's any good at it? Pirate merchant. I'll look at you in a second. Combat supplier. Ten. But Akemi, oh, you're so important. I can't, I can't let you do that. Latch, maybe? That's an interesting idea. Okay, so first... Who's around here? Latch, you're around here. Here, come talk. Let's call the Pirate Merchant first. Could buy some humans. A digger. Pyromaniac. Lol. Psychically sensitive. Incapable of violent. Uh-uh. Brawler, jogger, too smart. He wouldn't be a bad melee, would he? And he's speedy. Are you in good health? Missing an arm. How much are you? 2,000. Never mind, I can't afford that. So I've got some lances. Good. Get rid of some of these weapons. That's nice. Oh, that's right. I gotta look and see who needs a heavy SMG. So we'll hold on to that. Um, get rid of some of this crap. No dead man stuff. I don't use grenades. I I don't know. Maybe I should. I don't like them. Just had bad things happen in the past. So we've actually got some extra armor vests, so that's good. Okay. That's fine. And then the combat supplier is not going to be any significant difference, are you? Oh no, good, you'll buy all this junk. Good. Okay, good enough. So now that we've got our leg done, now... Latch, where are you? You're pretty useful, right? Slothful. Still! Let's go ahead and let's replace your right leg. You go do that. You can rest until healed. And who's going to come doctor you? Akemi, of course. Is she wearing a power armor helmet? Really? Whatever. Alright. I need to move that stove. I'm wasting so much time walking over these. Come on. Oh, sappers. Awesome. Just as I knock out one of my people. And I don't think I can cancel the operation. Nope. Alright. Okay, good. Well, at least we survived. Okay, and let's re-forbid this stuff. Wind turbine, don't care. Jump to location. And if they're going to use sappers, I'm not totally confident that the mortars are going to be of a lot of help. Okay, so let's see where they're going to come. So everyone, go ahead and... Oops, I have a home zone up here that I don't want. Okay, let's get everyone inside here. First of all... And let's see where they're going to go for. I could head out and snipe at them. Do I want to? How well are they equipped? Oh my god, that is a lot of explosives. And an incendiary launcher. This is not a happy state of affairs. Not at all. Okay, two guys with grenades. Well, okay, that's not that bad. I wonder if I should nuke the guy with the incendiary launcher. 
I only have three shock lances. Or do I only have one of each? No, I only have two. Yeah... I better not. Okay, so first off, let's get the guns on. And I think we'll move them around then, based on where these guys start to come for. So, let's go ahead and let's flip that on. Let's see, where are you guys going? What are you attacking? Just moving, okay. I assume that they're actually going to come more or less straight for the kill box. Actually, this could go really well. Come to think of it. Because if that's what they're going to do... Let's move these over here. Out of the way. Ooh, and the really expensive one too. Um, actually, hold on. Let's put the expensive one over here. And if that explodes, we're just dead. So, you know, whatever. And let's put this here. Yeah, let's do that. So, Akemi. You do that. Who else is up and about? Latch, unfortunately, can't do anything. Sarah, why don't you come do this? Anessin, come do this. This is actually good if they're really going to come in the top part of my kill box. This could go really, really well for us. But I don't know where they're going. So I guess it's just going to be a surprise. I hate surprises. And my mufflers are going to die. Which is irritating, but whatever. As long as they don't try to come in through here, that would be a big problem. And it looks like they're going to try to come in there. Maybe. Yep, that's what they're going to do. Damn it. Okay, well this isn't good. Yup. Ugh. Crap, and Stella's in here. Let's set this for prisoners. Javier, quick come rescue. Because they're going to be coming through this wall. This is bad. This is really bad. Okay, let's go ahead. Do I feel lucky? I'm feeling lucky. You're a terrible shot. Who can move that's a better shot? Four. You're even worse. Six. Not great. Anessin. Eleven. Where are you, though? You're way down here. I need you up here, kiddo. So you come up here, and Akemi, you're a terrible shot, but I need you up here, too. Let's see if we can tempt them in here. And let's keep this held open. Ooh! Wait, no, they're changing their mind. Maybe this is okay. Okay, Anessin, come over here instead. And Akemi, come over here, please. So there's no question that some of them are going to come through the wall there. Maybe not many. Okay, I'm going to lose that turret right there, but that's okay. It's just one turret. Uh, maybe I should have... Oh, right! No, I have to move my guns because they can use that as cover. No! Nice! Okay, well, I'm pleased with how that worked. Here, Sarah, come here. Uh, Javier, come here. We're not gonna, like, risk you guys, but let's go ahead and let's kill this guy, because we don't like him. Okay, so why don't you guys undraft? This works just shockingly well. Let's see here. Can, we, can you come prioritize? Already firefighting. Okay, good. And animals, let's go ahead and let's put these back in the right spot. Muffalo. Kill this guy. We don't care about this guy. Let's go ahead and let's kill him. Undraft. Actually, wait, before we kill him, let's strip him. Is anyone else still alive? Yes. All three of you are. So go ahead and do that. Let's get some useful gear off you. Well, this worked well. Akemi, don't be silly. You're not sleeping outside. We'll turn this back into a colonist bed. Non-medical. That's fine. Stella should be pretty close to getting up. 99%! <gasps> oh my gosh. So exciting. Okay, well that went well. So, let's build a copy here. And let's actually cancel this one so they can get at it. 
So it seems like sappers tend to like pick a bed and go for a bed. So, you know, it's knowledge we can use. Starvation, Stella. Who is around that can feed you? Kemi, where did you end up? Can you please come feed your buddy? Yes, she's a waste of space, but shortly, she will not be as much of a waste of space. You know what? Let's deconstruct this. I don't need that in the way. Let's move this. I don't actually know whether or not that changes walk speed, but let's just do it. And I'm going to move the stove too, because frankly I'm getting tired of this. someone come by and kill these guys? I think it needs to be someone that's set up for melee. Yeah. Here, let you get some points in. Good job. Come on. Not really selling it here. Come on. Good job. And, okay. They're done, so... Okay, so we're gonna need to... Move our guns a little bit, because I forgot that they can come and use this area as shelter. So, first off, let's just move things back so I don't forget. Let's put this back here. We can just fill this in with sandbags, that's fine. And we do need... Wow, we lost a couple turrets, didn't we? Well, I guess let's build another one. Here and here. And then... Let's fill this in with sandbags so I don't forget. Okay, and let's unforbid the selection. I didn't mean to unforbid this, that's fine. Alright, and we're looking pretty good. So, I can't seem to select all the traps, but that's okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, so now this is looking good again. I'm pleased with this. So now we're going to cart a bunch more carpses over here. You know what actually we should do? Let's just build a roof over here. And then when things get stripped and stuff, they'll be, I don't know. Roofed. Okay, well that went well. Let's turn this off so we don't, you know, use up our batteries. Did I not pick a research project? Did I get distracted? I think I might have. Yeah, that's right. I was still waffling on what I was going to do. You know what? Let's do bionics. And let's make sure this is set to a good quality. Sarah, can you go ahead and build that, please? Good, all right. And Hunter Locks range weapon. Oh, that's right, Stella's up. Yay, you're a good shot, too. Do I have another AR you can have? I don't. I don't like that. Why don't you go ahead and just... Hold on a second. LMGs were terrible, right? Yeah, they're not great. Heavy SMGs were good, though. Didn't I have one of those around here? Let's see here. They share a graphic with the machine pistol. There, there we go. Here. That'll keep you busy for a bit. All right. Well, this is looking good. We'll get all this stuff rebuilt here. Shield user's ranged weapon. Why would you do that? Just don't, don't, don't do that. Shield belt, off. Yes, good. All right, and we've got a bunch of space for storage, so we'll go ahead and we'll strip these guys too while we're at it. Yeah, I'm liking this. All right, this is looking good. Okay, so on our return, what are we gonna need to do next? We need to get our food production ticking along. It's still going okay. Batteries are doing all right. Has anyone turned this off yet? Did I forget to tell anyone that? Did all my guns just turn off? Yes. All right. Here, can you guys just haul these corpses, please? These like endless mood debuffs are kind of frustrating. One more. Stella. No empty place configured for- Oh, jeez, I filled this up. Ugh. Okay. Well, here. 
And then, why don't you guys get rid of these, please? And one more. Yes. And take it away. Okay, good. Alright, and now we just need to wait for everyone to catch up with stuff. I do want this medicine carried in right away, but it'll be okay for a little bit. People seem pretty busy, so we'll leave them be. Alright, well, this is looking promising. Okay, I guess our next plan is going to be to kind of clean this area up a little bit. Let's get all this stuff hauled. We've got enough room in our stockpile, that's good. You know what, actually, let's build... Since I'm not going to move anything, let's just get that there. That'll give us a faster place to walk. Alright, so next time, for six episodes now, I've said I'm totally going to build these rooms. And I'm totally going to do that. But beyond that, that went pretty well. So we'll get our walls built up, and then we should be back in business. So, thanks for watching, folks, and I will see you next time.